Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. I appreciate you taking the time to click the video and sticking around. So today we are gonna be looking at a used truck. I actually have quite a few of them to choose from. So yeah, let's just uh, head outside and take a peek. And on the way, I'll kind of tease you of what's what's coming. So let's check it out. All right, so we are uh, just gonna go for a quick walk, but on our way, like I said, let me tease you what's coming. We're gonna be showing that studio. That's all you're gonna see, that's it. But we're gonna show it to you there next week. So coming soon to YouTube channel near you. Yeah, okay. So, hey, the reason why I wanna show you these trucks is uh, I get a lot of people calling me from the US and around the world and looking for new trucks. Now, I, you know, the way that it works is I'm only able to sell new trucks within Canada, but used trucks, it's a, it's a free game. I can sell these trucks anywhere. Now, some people wanna have lots of matching trucks and we have a whole bunch of matching trucks. I have a whole pile of these black and white T680s, but the truck I want to actually focus on today is this guy right here. This is one of many uh, 2015 T680s that I have for sale. So let me get uh, the camera set up here and I'll show you what it's all about. All right, uh, I think we're all good to go here. So what I'll do, uh, I'll just kind of show you here a quick overview of the truck, what we got going on. Uh, now being used, every truck's a little bit different as far as mileage, hours, uh, any work done to it. So we, we can get you as much information on those things as uh, we can get. Uh, so just ask us and we can, we can look into it for you. So this is, like I say, 2015 T680. It's got the 76 inch mid-roof sleeper. It has the split fender right here. So you have the exposed uh, chassis. So the fairings are not covering anything there. So easy access. Uh, to everything now uh, you look at this here we've rebanded the or the customer previous rebanded the fuel tank straps and this is why i avoid going with the two inch straps i try to go with the seven inch so you don't have to ever redo that and you're going to spend the money to do it after the fact anyway so when you're ordering new that's why you go with the seven inch straps uh, this truck is a 244 inch wheelbase it has the ag380 suspension so this is your ideal 80,000 pound uh, rated suspension for your load, GVW or GCW. Your diffs are 40,000 pound rears, the DSP 40s. And we got 10 aluminum wheels inside and outside. You can see here the rubber is decent. 50% or better is kind of the standard that we try to adhere to. And we have a 24 inch sliding fifth wheel. Uh, we've repainted the frame. They do tend to get a little bit rusty up here in Canada. And uh, as far as this side, we have the single exhaust stack at the back of the cab and open here. You can put lots of toolboxes or whatever you choose along that side. We got another fuel tank here with fuel tank heaters. And uh, this one here is a 90 gallon. I didn't give you the other side, but I believe it was 90 as well. Just going to open up the hood here and show you what we got underneath. It's a Packard 455 1650 torque rated engine, the MX-13, 13 liter platform. There's the uh, badge on it. Fluid level checks on this side here, easy access, no doghouse into the cab. Uh, good rubber on the front here. We have drum brakes on it all the way around as well. When we take a used truck, we go through it, we do what's called a used vehicle mechanical appraisal. Make sure everything's in good working order. No check engine lights, no leaks on the engine. Uh, we make sure that uh, the truck has been serviced, so you got fresh oil, 
uh, filters are changed as well at the time of delivery, if unless we do it at the time of when we take it in on train. Sorry about the wind here, everybody. Has a engine SPAR heater. Uh, we don't guarantee them to work on a used truck just because, you know, they could be five years old and maybe they're on here, but they don't work. Uh, if they do, it's a bonus, but just uh, it is on here. The, the plumbing is all there for it. Maybe the motor works, maybe it doesn't. Uh, your HVAC system up here, you can see here, there's no leaks on the engine. It's nice and clean. All right, close the safety latch and close the hood. I'll give you guys a quick uh, two minute tour on the inside. locked. <laughs> I'll break in. Hey, there we go. So we've gone through this truck and done a complete uh, detail on it on the inside. The outside, we did an acid wash and everything. But when you look on the inside here, it's actually in very, very nice, clean, clean shape. Well, look at that. You have a key inside of a truck that's unlocked. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? Hey, this one's a 2016. That was a 15. But anyways, uh, we have about six 2015s on our lot and we have, I guess it's 16 as well. So this one here has 1,044,000 kilometers. So it's about 600,000 miles. Has a 13 speed Eaton Ultra Shift in here. Uh, as far as lockups, we have power divider and rear rear diff lock. So that's just a, a three way lockup, fifth wheel slide. And then we have uh, your Jake's right here and then cruise control standard steering wheel and there's the s bar heater control right there cb radio is taken out so there's no cb radio in it uh, but it's all wired up for it if you wanted it storage up above latches that latch is not working there we go now it's closed this side here too Tough. it can take a beating uh, now the fridge has been taken out of this one here some of these trucks have fridges some of them do not uh, so that's where the fridge could go and then the storage shelves were removed from this one for whatever reason it does have that rotating table right here and then you got the uh, little storage up above here as well 12 volt power outlet above and then we have uh, some storage here now we've changed this around uh quite a bit so this is kind of how we used to design the 680 with uh, that open shelf up above here now on the brand new ones they don't have the shelf anymore and this is just a deeper pocket so just a little bit of a difference there it is a single bed so there is no uh, bunk bed in this one here so that's kind of what that looks like and then we have open shelves on this side here with the storage inside like so so that's a quick two minute tour. Did I stay under two minutes? I don't think so. It's probably like 10. But anyways, that's a quick tour on this truck. I have several more to, to show you. So why don't I just go for a walk and show you what we got here in the city in Winnipeg. Oh, it doesn't even work for the key. It's probably ignition or something. <clears throat> So here's a lease return truck. So this is a 2016, has the APU on it. So this would have been part of our lease and rental fleet. So we have several of those coming in pretty much at all times. I also have a nice T880 here with the 76 mid roof. This is a heavy spec truck. I also get other trucks in too. We have this uh, Western Star day cab. There's another one of our Lease returns there. And then in the back here, as you can see, we have all sorts of trucks over there. 680s, 880s, 660s, some Volvos, some Western Stars. So lots of trucks to choose from. So there we have it. There is a quick used truck tour of our lot. We have lots to show you. 
Uh, I'll do a, some more of these videos in the future. So thanks for sticking around. If you want to check out the inventory that we have, you can click up on the link I'll put up here and you can kind of up in that area, that corner, you can check out what we have for inventory. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a video next week. I'm going to be taking some time off. So if I see you, I see you. If I don't, I'll catch you soon. So take care. And as always, have yourself the world's best day. Thank you.